much I'll be able to post, but none of it. I'm gonna record as much as I can. Oh, you're probably right. that they blew up the vehicle and we're crawling away as dead folk. And uh, I'm in this place with all these fucking bullet holes. Check that out. Joystick, left, right, also pans the camera. But it's real sensitive. I mean, you just touch these things, they yeah. like, lose. Hmm. What's all the other? I see you start over there somewhere. Yeah, um, <clears throat> this is the master switch. This is your gear shift. You got uh, park, reverse, drive. So putting hmm. it in and out of gear. This is the ignition on, and then you start pull, pull to start. Huh. And this is. This is steering left, right. This is throttle brake. Remotely by the truck. Way out there. Python, red six nine. Okay guys, I'm out here launching a plane. This is this is Thursday morning. I might have to edit a lot of this out because I don't know what I am and am not allowed to show you. There is just huge, I mean fucking huge grasshopper right under the plane right now. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. I'll try and get close to it. Here we go. Frank, you're massive. Watching a helicopter take off and shit. It's pretty cool. Awesome seeing them come in. 
I've seen it the last couple days, but either way, every day it's so fucking cool. Can't argue with this job sometimes. I see a lot of cool shit. But... So, uh, tomorrow is pretty much our last real working day day. I think. I hope. That's what the rumor has. So hopefully we get to go to Orlando, go see a lot of cool shit this weekend. Make a really cool vlog for Monday. I probably won't have a vlog at all Wednesday next week due to travel, but Monday's vlog should be pretty lit. Oh, this one should be pretty fucking lit. But hopefully you can hear me. This shit's pretty cool. There's my boy. America, I didn't get hit the floor, I caught it. So I had to cut out all types of shit. I had so much more stuff to show you guys, but I couldn't. I just, I don't want to get in trouble. There's a lot of just the uh, special forces dudes and their gear and the shit driving around, the shit that they were talking about. I couldn't really show much, but what was really cool is getting to see uh, that remote controlled car. It wasn't even a car, it was like a F-250. And that thing was jacked up. It was, it sat high, it was really cool. I think I have a picture, I'll throw in right right here from like the, the inside of the jet, you'll see, whatever. But uh, yeah, just that whole experience was really cool. I, I had no idea that I was even gonna be able to get to do that when I went on this trip. They, they wound up, they needed uh, people to help on certain days to do certain shit. Like I had to act like a bad guy and this, that, and the third, but it was pretty much like a day off work, day off, but I mean, it was, it was crazy. It was worth it, but it was really hot, and it got me really, really tired. So I didn't record much after all that. I was just like, I went home and here watched some YouTube and, and crashed. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's no car shit to do here. I don't have a vehicle to drive. I mean, we, we're sharing rental cars to get to and from work and go eat and whatnot. So I mean, I wish there was car shit to do, but I can't. So whatever. I did see a, what did I see? I seen a Mark V GLI, which I haven't seen one of those in, in years. It was lowered, had an exhaust and shit. So if you're out in Sebring, Florida, shout out to you, man. Shit was nice. And at a Domino's, I keep seeing this uh, Hawkeye STI. It's really nice, really, really nice. I didn't, get, I didn't hear it at all. I just seen it sitting there two days in a row. That shit was clean. Um, what else I see? I seen a couple Corvettes. And most of the people out here are, are trucks. They're like lifted trucks. You know, a lot of people do fishing and, and outdoorsy shit here, I guess. So, truck is the way to go. What else we got? Okay. So, when we were out yesterday is when I did uh, the stuff with the Special Forces guys. That was Wednesday. Today's Thursday. But they, uh, the helicopters wound up shooting off some shit and started a fire and right now like all of Florida is apparently like a no burn thing like you can't have any fires or open like tire burning or any of that crap they'll wind up starting a fire and that fire has lasted over 24 hours now and the town is probably like 30 or so minutes from the base and like today since the fire has been burning, it brought like ash and smoke into the town. Like people were walking out of stores and there was just ash like coming in the sky, like onto them. It, that's wild. Like you get in the town and it's just like all smoky and weary. Like actually, if you look, like that's not like rain cloud or anything. That is literally, that is smoke in the air. All of that going into town from the base. like. That's pretty wild. I've never seen that before in my life. It's crazy. And the weather here has been beautiful. Like if you're in shirts, shorts and a t-shirt, it is wonderful. But being in uniform, long socks, boots, 
pants and all that is terrible. Shirt tucked in, no airflow really to your your body and stuff. I just been sweating my ass off. Now today's going to wind up being a laundry day. I'm going to go in here and do laundry after this and finish editing, but it's been a damn good time. Really, really tempted to buy this Apple Watch. There's an Apple Watch for sale here on the Facebook Marketplace. I really, really want one. I had a Moto 360 watch there for a while, and it took a shit on me. So, And I just recently swapped to, to iOS. I really, really want it. I can't. It's 200 bucks, which isn't bad, but... Knowing that there's a third gen coming out soon, I don't know really know what they would even change because the watch, from what I've seen, my, my roommate has one. It's pretty perfect. The second gen has GPS and is more waterproof, I believe, but I don't really care for the GPS portion and I wouldn't wear it in the water anyway because why would you? I mean, this phone's waterproof, but I'm probably never going to use it in water or around water. Maybe one time just to test it out, but it's not like something normal for me i'm not on boats or around water often to even utilize that but i really really want it but i also really want to pay off this other loan because it'll free up like 230 something bucks a month if i pay that loan off which i have the money for i'm just i don't know i'm in the waters i want to pay it off keep building my credit with it what do i want to do i have no idea we'll see but, uh, if you have an iWatch, let me know comment down below let me know how you like it if you had a moto 360 or any other smartwatch and switch to an iWatch how does it compare let me know because I'm, I'm really on the fence about it and I really want to get it other than that I mean there's nothing new I'll be back home Wednesday Thursday ish hopefully the Memorial Day weekend I have a friend that lives in Boulder Colorado I need to go to Denver to get a retune which should only cost me a couple bucks like labor because the, the retune or the update on the tune is free so they might just charge me for labor I don't know it's like a six hour drive just to get a retune I don't know if it's worth it but it would be if I can go up there and go down and see my friend and then spend a weekend there and then come back so that would be cool I wouldn't be able to get a lot of cool vlogging shit done up there I, I would like someone to go with me because you know what's better than traveling alone it's super windy here for some reason. I feel like I brought the wind with me from Clovis. It's, it's weird. I've been in Florida many, many times, and it's never been this windy. And I just, like, you're on the beach at, like, sunrise or something, and it gets a little windy. But this this place is windy. Well, anyway, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, have a great day. I'll catch you on the flip-flop.